Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to A Therapeutic Edge. Hey, do me a favor. Uh, hit that subscribe button and the like button. That would help the channel out quite a bit. Uh, I do three uh, reviews a week, sometimes four, and I drop what's in the pocket, you know, two, three times a week as well. So there's a lot of knife content to be had here, and I'd love to share it with you. And the way to know that it's happening, of course, is to subscribe to the channel. So why don't you hit that subscribe button and we'll move along. In fact, the channel just broke 5,000 subs a little while ago, and so we're growing, and that's fun. But uh, I'd love to have you, whoever you are, here on a regular basis. So what are we looking at today? So at Blade Show Atlanta, we spent some time at the uh, artisan table, CGRB Artisan, and they had these. Now this is a new Dirk Pinkerton design. And who is Dirk Pinkerton, you may ask? Pinkerton is a long-standing knife designer. Some of my favorite knives are Dirk Pinkerton design. Um, stuff like the Artisan Tacit, which is a fantastic pocket knife. But my personal favorite Pinkerton designs have been now for a long time the Artisan Proponent, both in full size and the Mini. These are amazing. And I love this blade shape, which is good, because he's uh, brought it forward again in the ruffian here. So let's take a look. I love these. <laughs> I love these knives. All right. Um, let's take a look at the ruffian. Oh, wow. Um, this one belongs to Women Carry Knives. I'm sure that's not a surprise, given the purple handle. But she loves it, because it's got this red pivot collar. This is a fantastic little pocket knife. Pinkerton designs tend to be sort of straightforward. Um, I mean, let's go back and take a look at the mini proponent here. Even though this is an enormous chunk of knife, uh, it is a very straightforward design in for all of that, right? So I do love Pinkerton's aesthetic. Uh, Dirk Pinkerton has a new one that beyond, from Beyond EDC that we will get to a little later as well. Um, I love that he's coming out with stuff. So. What do you get? Well, first, these are 50 bucks. And for that, you get their AR RPM 9 powdered steel, which is a budget powdered steel, which I have had lots of good luck with. You get G10 scales on steel liners. You get a reversible deep, you know, deep carry pocket clip. It is stamped steel, but it's got nice spring and good ramp. It comes in and out of the pocket very easily. And because it's Pinkerton, you can carry this tip down. Yeah, I will never do that. But you might, and it's nice to have the option. And it is, of course, left and right hand compatible. So you can do whatever you want. The blade comes in at, looks like, three and an eighth inches overall at the cutting. Now, this is an interesting design because the cutting edge is actually a little longer than the blade up here. So we're going to say that it is overall three and an eighth overall uh, with three and an eighth of cutting, which is very nicely done. Uh, it's got a nice little sharpening choil back here. And of course, it's got a hole up here with nice jimping. The knife itself from end to end is seven and an eighth overall. The grip area from behind that swell is three and a quarter. So it's a little short for my hand, my pinky, but be it does want to fall off the end a little bit. But because of the way it swells towards the back of the knife, I get a really nice grip just the same. It's very positive grip, right? It feels very good in hand. Artisan does good work. CGRB is artisan, right? So they do excellent work, and this is just another example of that. Close profile on this guy is pretty good um, because there's no flipper, which is nice. Uh, you're looking at an inch and a quarter, so it sits in the pocket very nicely. Deployment is only from the flipper, so you can thumb it open. But of course, my favorite way to open it is just with a flick. You can roll it open too, very nicely. Right. Overall length closed. You're coming in at just four inches. Let's do some size comparisons. Since we've already had them on the table, here it is against the classic artisan proponent. As you can see, these knives are similar in length and size. These, look, 
they make these proponents in a bunch of, anyway, we'll get to the back to the side. I love these. I just do. They're awesome. Anyway. So let's keep that on the table. Here it is against the uh, Hogue Decca, which is a personal favorite, sort of lightweight carry. As you can see, the Decca is a bigger knife, at least longer than the Ruffian. Here it is against our old friend, the Bug Out. And of course, the Bug Out, again, is a little bit longer than the Ruffian. The Ruffian is a reasonably small knife, but comfortable nonetheless. So that is really well done. Here it is against the Baby Banter. So, not a tiny knife, but reasonably sized. I feel like if Nick Shabazz would review this, he would enjoy the size quite a bit. Let's just leave it at that. Action is very good. It is on bearings, and it is nice and smooth and snappy. It's a liner lock, and we're locked up at about 25%. They did the liner justice. You can get to it very easily through the cutout. The jimping is interesting. It's not really jimping, right? The top of the blade is smooth, but the jimping runs the sides of the blade. So you can definitely feel it, but it's not harsh on the thumb. And of course, as a box destroying tool, this particular blade shape is this sort of warny blade shape. Shape, shape, Warncliffe blade shape, I can talk, watch me go, is excellent for packages and for box cutting. And it is nice and pokey in case you need to give somebody a little prod to move them along. The ruffian here would serve you very well. The G10 is milled. Make that show up. There we go. You can see it's milled, so it's got a little bit of shape to it, which feels very nice in the hand. I love stuff like this. I do. 50 bucks, reasonably priced, good materials from a good company, uh, an excellent designer. You know, it, it's okay. So, to be fair, some people don't care who designs a knife, right? They don't care. They, took a, they take a look at a knife and they say, well, I like it or I don't, and they don't care the name attached to it. I am that way often, but there are some designers that really sort of speak to me. Uh, good examples of that would be stuff from Tepe Designs, Sean Hassan. I love all of his work, right, no matter where it comes from. Uh, I have become a fan of Sharp and Pointy Swags. I think her particular aesthetic choices on the knives that she designs tend to be very, very good. Dirk Pinkerton is one of those designers for me. If you like a Pinkerton design, you will likely like most of them, which I think is very, very cool. And unlike the other Pinkerton design stuff that I have on the table that are expensive because of the materials, the Ruffian is a CJRB and falls into that sort of budget-friendly area, say below $100, comfortably below $100, coming in at 50 that makes this more accessible to more people. And that is a really good goal. I wish more knife companies would do that. I love, you know, my sort of ridiculously expensive knives. I, I do, I'm not gonna lie about it, but stuff like this that brings you an excellent designer at a reasonable price is just cool. So we'll move on from there. Uh, one last size comparison. Here's is the full-size Presidio 2 from Benchmade. I just really want to be clear. The Ruffian is a small knife, but well done for it. Let's go ahead and get some other specs out of the way. Oh, magic calipers, come on in. Now let's see. So you start with 2.7 millimeters of that ARRPM9 steel, and because of the nice grind, comes down to a really nice cutting edge. And in the end, I mean, look, not all knives are equal when it comes to just cutting. Some of my favorite knives aren't really that slicey. Uh, the Socom Bravo, by example, is a pry bar <laughs> with an edge on it. I mean, it's cut, it cuts, but it's a really thick piece of steel that comes down to a very short and aggressive edge, right? It's not a razor blade. This thing is really slicey. And I think particularly in the budget range when you're gonna be using one of these mostly for your sort of everyday tasks, that is a really useful feature. 
So they did a really good job there. The handle comes in at 10.56 millimeters or 0.4 of an inch, right? So it sits in the pocket very well. And it feels very light. And it should, as it's not a big, thick knife. But let's take a look and see where it weighs in at, shall we? Let's see. All right. Yeah, 3.1 ounces for a 3-inch blade. It is right there in that ounce-per-inch sweet spot that a lot of the EDC, or the everyday carry folks, really enjoy. I'm clearly not that worried about knife weight. <laughs> you know, for me, that's not an issue. But if we're gonna lean into that as a relevant thing. This is definitely in the same zone as stuff like the DECA. And while not the ultralight bug out, it is still a very light knife, right? And that matters. You know, if you're wearing light pants or slacks or shorts, or you just don't want the world knowing you've got a big heavy pocket knife, something like this is really well done. So there you have it. This is the CJRB, which is an artisan company, Ruffian, designed by Dirk Pinkerton. It again comes in their AR RPM 9 powdered metallurgy steel, which is the only powdered metallurgy budget steel on the market. Has nice G10 scales, good steel liners, a pocket clip that is deep carry that is left, right, and up, up and down carry, which is just fantastic for a knife of this price range, comes in at 50 bucks and I think it's worth your attention. They come in a bunch of different colors too, so there is that. And that's where we're going to leave it. CGRB has hit another home run as far as I'm concerned. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the Ruffian. I know I've enjoyed sharing it with you and I know Women Carry Knives loves owning it. So hope you guys are having a great day. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.